Hey friends, I want to show you some of the baby birds we have. These are Indian ringneck parakeets. Now that first little clip was the dad. He is a blue pallid, and the mom is a violet. And this sweet little baby, she is just about 10 days old. She is the youngest of four, and they hatch every other day. So that means that the oldest baby that we're feeding is, is about two weeks old. And so we'll, I'll show you all four together in a group shot at the end of this video. So here's some more clips. Gold can they make in board? Can they can, they... but they shouldn't. Dad, what's the wellest thing to have a board? Like a macaw egg to want, like, like if two macaws that had a egg that had a baby let's say here let's see if they can step up step up Hey guys, I want to pause for just a minute and I want to read a, a happy comment that I got. I, I love getting these and I just want to share some with you. This comes from Miss Kelly and she says, Thank God for you. I've been looking for the descriptions of my different feather types and I finally know. Very informative and much appreciated. Now she, le she left this comment yesterday on the video that I made about the different feather structures of the silky chickens where I talk about the difference between a, a silky and a sizzle and a frizzle and even go into the the showgirl so I'm gonna leave a link to that and y'all be sure to watch that okay So this is day four, and we're just feeding these little babies. We're using a pipette this time. I don't know why I'm not using a syringe, just because I'm using a pipette. These are the first babies of the year for us, and it has been three or four months since I have hand fed a baby. And that's not something I will ever forget how to do. I have hand fed hundreds and hundreds of baby birds over the 30 years that I have been raising exotic parrots. And I absolutely love it. And I'm just dribbling a little bit of food into their mouth. Just a couple drops at a time. And it's going down into their crop. And I'm just going to wipe off some of the excess. I'll spit them around a little bit. I always use a towel or washcloth or a napkin, a kitchen towel, something to place the babies on. That way I can spin them around to orient them a little bit better without having to, to pick them up so much. They're, they're not really fragile, but they, they don't need to be manhandled. And also, I can wipe them clean when they get messy.
So this is day five, and you can see the dark feathers coming in under the skin of that baby on the right, on the wings, and even on the back and tail a little bit. Those are the feather follicles that are forming, and they're growing up. And this is one of the younger ones, and you can see that there's a difference in the color of the feathers. And that's because this one is going to be like the dad, the one in the front here. She will be a blue pallid. Uh, these are both, these are the other two of the four. These are both blue pallid. And Catherine's going to put this baby back so that we can feed a different one. I really hope you're enjoying this. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. I feel as though that is a personal favor to me, and I really do appreciate that. Let me turn, let me mute the TV. That is Miss Patty Rose. If y'all aren't subscribed to her, you need to subscribe. But look, this is all four of the babies. This is recorded early Friday morning. We brought these into the house this past Sunday. So this is day six that we are feeding them. We have one boy and three girls. I know this because of the genetics of the parents. The pallid mutation is a sex-linked mutation. And because of that, the dad is pallid, a blue pallid, and the mom is a blue-violet, purple color. And so we know that all of the girls will be pallid, the lighter color, and the boys will not be pallid. They'll be the darker color. Also, pallids have red eyes. We know from this pair that all of the daughters are going to be pallid, so all of the daughters will have red eyes. Yeah, like this This one. baby this and one. this baby and this baby you can see it's all bad. have red eyes. Oh, they're going to start crying now. They're hungry. And they have red eyes, and so we know that they are girls. And this little guy back here with the darker blue coming in on his wings. Move your fingers, Captain. I know you're trying to help. We know that he is a boy because he has dark eyes and he has the dark feathers coming in. You can see on this baby the feathers coming in are going to be a real light pale blue color. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Do you have the egg too? They still have the little egg tooth, the little, the little thing sharp thing protruding from the tips of their beak. That's what they use to crack open the egg. To crack open the egg. Man, they're so cute. They are you're so cute. cute. You're cute. You're cute. And you're sweet. Beautiful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. These are mine. They're so cute. So, for the foreseeable future, we're going to post a baby bird update. Every Friday, showing you all of the baby birds that we have in the nursery that we're hand feeding. And some videos obviously will be shorter and longer than others, though vary in length. I'm faking feeding. But y'all make sure to subscribe. Make sure that you are sharing our videos. It doesn't cost you anything, but it, it makes a world of difference to us every time you share one of our videos on social media, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or talk about it on Instagram. I really do appreciate everyone's support. God bless you. Bye-bye.